As time progresses, uh, when people used to go buy cars privately or from garages, they'd give them a real good check over. Uh, on electric cars, it's the exact same. You look for things like service history, but it's useful, like this is a five-year-old car, to be useful if you knew what state the battery is in after uh, five Martin's years. just gonna show us how you can do it. Now, to be fair, this equipment that we're using is Hyundai specific, but I'd say over time there will be generic versions. So, uh, ODB port, and then this one we're just using a Hyundai tablet. Uh, this car's done what? What's the mileage on it? Uh, 40, just under 48,000. Okay, 48,000 kilometers, five years old. So at the bottom here, you'll see the current charge of the vehicle is 82%. Okay. Still, that's rising as it's still charging. Okay, so that's 82 is in, that's what the car is charged to at the moment. At it's the not moment. the state of the battery. Yep, just okay. above that, you'll see your state of health, okay. which is the key thing here. So that's the condition of the battery. And okay. we're still at 100% after five years. Okay, there's no degradation on it. No degradation. So basically on a car like that, and that's not to say everyone will be, let's look at another one that there is some uh, variation on. So I suppose it's naive to think basically that if you look at every diesel car or petrol car you're going to look at, they won't all knock out the exact M same MPGs over the years. Uh, there'll be some level of degradation on the engines, which will affect efficiency and how they run and all that kind of stuff. And electric cars, the exact same. Let's look at another five-year-old car. Five-year-old car that's probably done a bit of fast charging in its life. Whereas the car that we just looked at uh, was a five-year-old Ionic, always charged from home. This is a Kona that's done a little bit of fast charging in its life. So you'll see here the state of health on this Kona. The product standard of new will be 100% and at the moment we're at 96.6%. So basically the... You're not meant to be wearing a tie going to work every day. <laughs> anyway, uh, most dealers should be probably getting to a stage where they'll have that on the car where it kind of says it. But this is how it's going to be uh, if you're buying electric cars or things with batteries. It's good to have those kind of reports. There probably will be aftermarket stuff that will come out. The reason I knew the other cars had fast charging, the previous owner told us that it had some fast charging done. That's the only way we knew. But I know there is going to be a way of accessing how many times it's being fast charged. For some reason, the fast charging, not for some reason, for a definite reason, the fast charging does have an impact on the battery state of health long term. Uh, whereas you see on the first one, there's no degradation because it was always charged from home. So uh, if you are going to look at an electric car, try and get uh, either a report from a garage or alternatively, there is going to be some aftermarket equipment that people can buy uh, and aftermarket apps that will be able to give you so that, some of that information. So try and find out state of health and how many times it's been fast charged in its life. And it gives you a better chance of buying a better car with a better battery. Thanks for watching.